this video we are talking about mtech and energy systems from IIT Bombay. I will be sharing my test and interview experience and also give you some important tips which will help you to get the admission offer. Hello friends, welcome to another video. My name is Varun and I am currently pursuing mtech from IIT Bombay in the Department of Electrical Engineering. Let me first start by giving you a short introduction to the program. mtech in Energy Systems Engineering is offered by Department of Energy Science and Engineering at IIT Bombay. It is an interdisciplinary department which focuses on research and development of sustainable energy systems. The research activities of the department can be categorized into four areas. Energy efficiency, renewable energy systems, nuclear energy and oil and gas. The department has several ties with industrial organizations like Cermax, Forbes Marshall, etc. and with several government organizations like Ministry of New and Renewable Energy, Atomic Energy Regulatory Board, etc. The department offers MTech and PhD programs through GATE. This video covers all the admission details of the MTech program even though same is applicable for the PhD program as well. For the MTech program, there are several GATE specializations which are eligible to apply. To know if you are eligible to apply for the program, please check the eligibility criteria mentioned in the admission brochure. The MTech program has a mix of compulsory and elective courses which can be chosen based on the specialization and the interest of the students. Now let's get to the admission process for the program. The admission process involves an online written exam of one hour duration which will be used to shortlist candidates for admission interview. The written exam is common for students from all gate specialization. All questions in the written exam will be either multiple choice or fill in the blanks type and there may also be negative marking for incorrect answers. The exam will have two sections of 20 marks each. Section A will contain math, physics and chemistry questions of 11th and 12th standard level. The section B will contain undergraduate level questions. The topics will include heat and mass transfer, thermodynamics, fluid mechanics, electrical networks and machines, etc. Questions will be from different disciplines, but solving questions from your gate specialization will be enough to get you shortlisted for the interviews. For these questions, gate level preparation will be enough. So please revise your gate concepts before appearing for the return exam. Also, I would like to mention that the format of the test changes every year. So request you to check the latest format on their website. You can also check the sample paper available on their website. I will provide all the important links in the description below. The second phase of the admission process is the online interview. In the online interviews, questions are asked from the core subjects of your gate specialization. Since I had given gate electrical, they ask me questions from power electronics and power systems. They will usually first ask you which subjects you have prepared and which subjects you are comfortable with. Then they will ask questions from the subjects that you mentioned. If they ask you questions from a subject that you have not prepared, then you can also tell them that you have not gone through the subject and request them to ask questions from other subjects. It will be enough if you prepare two to three core subjects, but prepare well. The final admissions will be based on the aggregate of your gate score along with your performance in the test and interviews. I would suggest to prepare well for the test and try to score maximum marks to increase your chances of getting selected. That's it for this video. If you have any further questions then please let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.